All right, so we have another Gundam. Um, this one is the XGF-02 Gundam Lifrit. Um, it, it's a goddamn plastic mobile suit. I know you're behind this. You son of a bitch. Well guys, as painful as it is, I, I absolutely hate plastic mobile suits. I don't know whose idea it was to use recycled plastic. In this case, it's the color recirculation plastic mobile suit. Whose idea is it to send a mobile suit into space to fight in a war made of plastic? I don't know, but you know, as my, as my position, I'm gonna get through it. All right guys. I am the Gundam safety manager, and I'll make sure this shit gets done. All right, so first negative aspect, it is made of plastic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in notes. I'll talk to the uh, hangar manager and see what the hell's going on. This should not be certified, but I'll still go through the motions, okay? Now to note, this is a prototype mobile suit, so maybe it might not end up being plastic in the long run, but we'll go ahead and see you know, what happens at the end of its developmental cycle. So I know there's a few more steps that we need to take with this, uh, but for right now, it's just in prototype status. Now the test pilot is going to be Eleonora Samaya, I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, the height is going to be 18 meters and the weight is going to be 49.3 metric tons. So not the biggest mobile suit that we have inspected in history, but you know, it, it, it's still a competent boy. That is going to have a mode called the Bit on Form, which it will basically improves uh, maneuverability, so acceleration, speed, braking, all that good stuff. That is going to have the Gun Format interface, uh, so basically you see like the little chest kind of glowing a little bit. Now let's talk about the design real quick. Overall, aesthetically, the design looks great. Let's talk about that highlighter pink color. Look, if this was a toy, right? I, I would like it. I would like to put it on my shelf. Like, damn, that's a pretty cool looking toy. But this is a real life mobile suit. Guys, why is it pink? If you're in the Earth atmosphere, you're getting shot down miles away. You in space? Look, come on. Giant pink thing, like, that's easily getting shot down by the enemy. So, look, I'm barking that down. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Now talking about its maneuverability and its articulation, I mean, it's great. The, the body can move in a very dynamic range of motion. Uh, you know, manipulators are great. It can grab onto the beam saber behind it. It can do a lot of great things in terms of like, you know, moving its limbs. So honestly, I'm not gonna have any issues with that. It's, it's a clear check on the safety. Uh, no issues trying to like reach for its different, uh, you know, weapons or you know try to like do anything in a maneuverability type situation so looks great so i think we pretty much covered all the basics here uh let's go ahead and bring it out into the field and we're going to go ahead and talk about all the weapons now let's talk about the ranged weapons uh in addition to the beam vulcans on the head it is going to have the receiver gun the receiver gun is going to have two different modes which is going to be the standard mode and then the gun bit rifle mode the gun bit rifle mode is going to have high output beam firing capabilities and the standard is obviously just going to shoot standard beams. Now when the bits are not on the rifle, it can actually emit a beam blade to you know, basically cut down the enemies. Now with or without the bits, the gun can be stored in the backpack. Next we're going to talk about is the beam sabers. You're going to have two of them that are stored on the backpack. Basically your standard melee weapon beam sabers. What we've seen countless times and time again. Next we're going to talk about is the Compo Gun Bit Shield, which is an anti-beam field uh, you know, kind of shield so that way if, you know, someone's firing some beam weaponry, it can essentially deflect that with that, uh, that shield. So it's just made up by the gun bits that are on the backpack. So you really have to choose how you're going to utilize these bits, whether it's going to be in a more like, 
you know, high maneuverability kind of mode, or if you're going to be in a more defensive state with the shield, or like we're about to talk about, in a more offensive state. So all seven bit staves can be used uh, basically as like, you know, little funnels essentially, bits. And they have offensive capabilities and defensive capabilities, but they have, you know, thrusters built into them as well as beam uh, weaponry. So they can kind of like go off and, you know, shoot the enemies down. This is all just utilizing, uh, you know, that, that whole gun format interface. All right, so that's pretty much it for me. Look, weapons are pretty cool. I love them. Uh, let's go ahead and head back into the hangar and we'll go ahead and debrief. All right, guys, welcome back. So we pretty much covered everything from the overall aesthetics, uh, it, you know, its articulation, the weaponry, uh, capabilities overall. And I think it's safe to say if this thing is just not plastic, it's clear to go. I don't really have any issues with it. Uh, you know, the test pilot, uh, Miss uh, Samaya, I think she's going to be pretty capable to utilize this machine to its full capabilities. But honestly, I, I, w I wish that, you know, she could pilot something that has a little bit more durability than plastic. I mean, one beam is just going to melt through this whole thing. So uh, I'm not sure. I, I get it. It has the whole, like, defensive capabilities of, like, uh, you know, anti-beam field properties. But I think, I think we should go ahead and just mark this as a, hey, go back into your, uh, you know, your manufacturing power plant, whatever, wherever your company is. And let's go ahead and start back. Start start back with the materials used to make this, you know, some kind of Gundanium alloy or something. I don't know, man. But hey, I'm gonna mark everything else good. But like I mentioned, that whole plastic thing that's a no go, as well as the color choices. I mean, choose better colors. Let's let's, let's be serious right now. All right, but that's it for me. Uh, this is a really cool mobile suit. I just I hate I hate hate. How the hangar manager just threw this at me again like he knows i hate these plastic mobile suits uh, but that's it for me thank everyone here for hard work i mean we, we worked our asses off today guys uh so let's go ahead and go to break room you know uh maybe get some food and uh yeah just call it a day but thank y'all and i'll be seeing y'all in tomorrow's shift bye bye